Hello and welcome to Wild Divine's Minutes to Zen. In this video series, I will be giving you tips on how to get the most benefit out of your Zen Journey program. This video will focus on the teapot event, where you will use your energy to bring a broken teapot back together. So let's get our finger sensors on, or if you prefer, you can follow along without, and we can begin. To begin the teapot event, click on the Shoji screen in the front left. Once you are in the room, click on the teapot to get started. The event will begin with an exploded teapot. The goal is to bring the pieces back together, creating a whole teapot, using only your breath. If your breathing is deep and consistent, you should start to see the pieces coming slowly back together as your body relaxes. Any disruptions to your breathing cycle will cause the pieces to float away from each other again. Try to keep your breath cycle even and consistent by thinking about something which moves steadily like waves crashing on the shore or a creek passing through the forest. The best way to complete this event is by keeping yourself distanced and detached from the outcome. If you watch the teapot in anticipation, then it is likely that any movement of the pieces, either closer or farther from the goal, will cause you to react in some way. The reaction, however slight, will cause you to become distracted and removed from your state of relaxed awareness. If you do become distracted, don't worry about it. Just pick up where you left off, and try again. You have as much time as you need to complete the event, so there is no need to harp on any setbacks. You do not need to reach the goal on the first try. The event will end when you have successfully put the broken teapot back together. You will see that you have made the teapot whole and functional once more, and your success will be rewarded with a hot cup of tea. The idea that the teapot event represents can be applied to many things in life, especially when starting a new meditation practice. A beginner will not always get to where they want to be on the first try, and this can cause a lot of frustration. This is the opposite of what meditation is supposed to do, but it is important to keep in mind that the supposed failure is never really a failure unless you never try again. In reality, it is simply part of the learning process. The most important thing is to keep going and get there eventually. Thank you for watching Wild Divine's Minutes to Zen. If you have any questions about the Zen Journey software or about any of our other software programs, please feel free to contact us at 866-594-9453. We are available from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Pacific Time. Or if you prefer, you can email us at any time at customerservice at wilddivine.com.